Today's Rants brought to you by New Works Plumbing of Sacramento. Locally owned for over 20 years, they've got a fix for you. They're available around the clock for your plumbing needs and repairs. Just go to newworksplumbing.com, N-E-W-W-R-X plumbing.com. Hey, be sure and check out today's podcast. My guest, Tom Brenneman, formerly the TV voice of the Reds and the NFL on Fox. A powerful conversation today on my podcast, if you don't like that. Hey, I thought the identity of the Sacramento Kings this year was going to be defense. That's all I heard about in the preseason from Luke Walton and the players. Defense, defense, and defense. Well, after last night's loss to the Phoenix Suns, which now has the Kings under 500 embarking on a four-game road trip, there are only four, that's right, only four teams in the Western Conference that play worse defense than the Sacramento Kings. I mean, last night you saw the poor defense in the first half, and don't even get me started on what the hell happened in the third quarter. But again, where is defense? What happened to defense that I've been hearing about over and over and over again? Is it better than last year? Well, hell yeah. How could it be worse than last year? Worse than the history of the NBA. So I guess that's a little bit of a silver lining. But where is the identity that you talked about week after week after week? Not even Thanksgiving yet. And the defense looks like it's gone. What happened? Kings fans want to know. What happened to the defense? Why? Why was it such a focus in preseason and the beginning of the season and now it's like, eh, you know, I know you held Indiana to 94 points in a 94-91 loss, but you're always going to have games like that, just like you're going to score 140 once in a while against Charlotte. But only four teams in the conference are worse defensively than you are? Not going to the playoffs that way. Can't happen. And that's my rant for today. If you like what I have to say, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. And as always, thank you so much for watching Grant's Rant.